lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to do subtraction, but of two digit numbers. Remember the layout of the board. The board can have two numbers exposed at any time. And so if you want to do anything with them, you will have to load the numbers on the board. And usually the convention is that we keep our results in the second row. So if I'm to do A minus B, then I must first discover what minus B is in the second row. Then I can load A here and then I do the addition and I'll get the answer here as A minus B. So if we want to work with uh, two digit numbers, for example, let's say we want to do uh, 12 minus 7. Okay. So we'll remember the 12. The first thing we'll do is discover minus 7. And to do that, we must do a difference first. So we have to put 9s at the top here. Okay, so that's our line. And we have to do the same here. Okay. So, then we have to, and we assume that there are nines in the remainder. So I have to put my minus 7 is what I want to calculate. So I'll put my 7 here. That's seven, okay? And we said you do the difference first, which is the complement of the seven. So the difference between the nine and the seven is two. So I'll leave the two here and I'll take all of this away. Then the difference between the nine and the zero is nine. So I've got that here. This is like the complement. What I want now is the twos complement, or in this case, the tens complement. So I have to end up adding a one. Okay? And as imagine there will be nines here. So if I add a one, then I do it this way. Then I collect all of this, and then I bring it back here. Then I take a copy of the nine, and then I remove all of this there, and I bring it back. So I have nine, 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 three. And so I have discovered in the second row what minus seven is. Okay. So the next thing now, that, that means I have minus B here. The next thing now is to load my A up there. And we said it was 12. So all I have to do now is to do addition. And you know how to do that. I make a copy digit by digit, I make a copy here, it's less than 10. Then I go to the next digit, I make a copy, I put it there, it becomes 10, so 0 here. I have 9s here, so I'll leave 1. Then I'll do the same and I'll end up with 0, 0, 0, 0. So as you can see, the answer is 5, just as you would do a normal calculator. See you next time.